to detect an enemy aircraft at a distance of 400 kilometers and recognize its technical characteristics. The newest radar station, Malachite, is capable of this. It is operational in the Air Force Battalion, which is based in the Kiev region. The enterprises that supply the newest models of equipment are constantly improving and modernizing. So, no matter how the enemy tries to enter our territory, it will undoubtedly be detected and then the appropriate decision will be made. After detecting a threat, the data about the object is transferred to the command post. There, they decide whether it is necessary to send a fighter aircraft into the sky in order to intercept the enemy. Pilots from the neighboring unit are ready to take off at any moment. They learn to master their skills not only in the sky, but also via a special simulator. The controls are an imitation of those in the MIG-29 aircraft. On the screen, the pilot sees what he would see during actual flight. It is possible to practice the combat use of a fighter plane and simulate takeoff and landing at any airfields in Ukraine. One can also train in the performance of aerobatics maneuvers day and night in all weather conditions. Such training is held before each mission. Here, the crews are practicing exercises that could be used in real combat. They fly one by one as well as side by side with another fighter. I was practicing with the pilot the piloting technique called advanced aerobatics and air battle with fighter aircraft at medium altitude. Ukrainian pilots show professionalism not only during military operations in the country. They have recently received a prize at one of the most prestigious air shows, the Royal International Air Tattoo 2017 in the UK. The victory went to the Ukrainians in the category Best Aerobatics Among NATO Partner Countries.